Hello guys, a quick video about differences between managed and unmanaged disks, part of how to configure storage for Azure VMs. This topic will cover the meaning of managed and unmanaged disks, benefits of these types of disks, the cost, who has a better price, some utils advice when and where to use, how to deploy a VM with managed and unmanaged disks, and the last one, how to migrate from unmanaged to managed disks. So let's start with unmanaged disk. This means that the VHD file will be managed by you and the disk will be placed into a storage account and the path to this uh, disk will be like a URI. So you will have HTTPS, your storage name, blob.core.windows.net uh, slash container slash disk name. Okay, once you decided to store your disk on your storage account, you need to assume the limits provided by the storage account. And uh, the first limit is the IOPS per storage account. Uh, it's about uh, 20,000 and the limits of storage accounts uh, is uh, 250 and uh, somehow you have a limit here and this means that you can store up to 40 VM per storage account to provide for each VM a good operation and to avoid the uh, IO crunch. This information is good to keep uh, in mind when you want to deploy uh, uh, a VM with uh, unmanaged disk. Okay, if we are talking about managed disks, somehow the problem with limits is solved because when you create uh, when you create a VM, you don't need to create a storage account because Microsoft Azure will do it for yourself and you don't have to worry about the limits. But you have some limits about uh, 50,000 standard disks, 50 found premium disks and 50 found standard solid state drive disks. So these limits are very high and you don't have to worry about. So now if it's clear for you the meaning of uh, manage and uh, and manage disk, uh, let me show you the difference when you use the manage disks, especially if we are talking about the ability set that keeps your virtual machine in a different tracks. Uh, which means if one rack happens to be down, you'll still have your service running in terms of a VM, but this is a challenge with the storage because uh, if you want a storage resiliency and in the case of unmanaged disk, you have a single point of failure and if you are looking for managed disks, we see an advantage here because uh, is used as separate storage units aligned to the file domain and Microsoft does is provide a separate storage unit and it means that one rack happens to be down one storage cluster is not gonna to to impact your service because now the service will be continue to run from another storage rack as well as the VM rack and you will have a continuity for your application and um, services. So let's talk a little about price. Usually the unmanaged disk is cheaper than a managed disk but in some cases and let me explain why. When you use the unmanaged disk you pay only what you consume uh, not a fixed price for a disk size and if you're looking for this formula for managed disks you will pay for a fixed cost per disk size plus operation cost. For unmanaged disks you will pay for storage usage in um, gigabytes multiplied to cost per gigabyte plus uh, operation cost. Okay, when to use managed disks? Uh, I have two advice for you. Uh, if you use less than the given size, then uh, unmanaged disk will cost less than managed disks. 
if you use more then managed disk cost will be less than unmanaged disks so the price per gigabyte will be higher as long as you consume less storage space and the second advice is to use managed disk when you use premium storage and use unmanaged disk for standard storage take into account the first recommendation because if you make a combination between premium storage plus adding a redundancy like zone redundancy storage you'll pay you'll pay much more for the unmanaged disks okay okay let's make a demo how to deploy a vm with unmanaged disk and the second vm with managed disks okay select virtual machine create new virtual machine and uh, I want to focus just on this tab this when you want to configure manage or unmanaged disk go to advanced in uh, disks tabs when you create when you deploy a new VM and you have an option here use manage use managed disks yes no if you will choose no you will need to create uh, a new storage account for this uh, for this disk will be hosted will be stored in this uh, storage account okay and you have some recommendation here to use uh, Azure managed disks and of course the benefits of this option so I will deploy this machine uh, as uh, as unmanaged disks and then let me go through these uh, tabs uh, first okay the deployment of this machine is done I have deployed this machine because uh, I want to show you how to how to migrate from unmanage to manage disk and if you decided somehow to to do this migration keep in mind that uh, you you will have all the time uh, information here a message here that your VM is not using manage disk and uh, and you will have an option to do this you just need to click this informative uh, tab and click migrate Azure will keep your VHD on your storage account will not touch it and you can save it for for another deployment and uh, so on and that's it this was all information uh, that um, I wanted to share with you in this video if you have a question don't hesitate to ask me via comments i will help you with pleasure if you find the information for today useful please subscribe for upcoming videos and uh, see you next time bye